Investigating the disappearance of Manic Street preacher Richie James say they're no nearer to solving the mystery. It's exactly a year today since the guitarist went missing. Despite numerous appeals by police, family and friends, he's not been seen since. Ian Panel reports. Angry, depressive, talented, poetic, destructive, influential. There's no shortage of words to describe the man who co-wrote the band's lyrics. The mystery over his disappearance began this time last year, which his father, Graham, made this emotional appeal. We've contacted all his friends and all his business associates, and no one seems to have seen either hair of him. This is completely out of character. Everyone very worried about this. If he needs time to be on his own, that's okay with everyone. Um, and if he has any problems that we can help with... Uh, I hope you remember that he's, he'll have uh, strong support from his all his family and of course all the lads in the band. Tyson, tend to steal a handbike, dressed all in black, early 20s, now weapons thing. Dear Stephen Moore has been leading the search for Richie James Edwards. There have been a number of clues, but nothing solid. Just a few days ago, he was told about a psychiatrist in Wales whose patient had talked about a friend planning to jump off the Severn Bridge, which is where Richie's car was found, but hadn't done it. Further investigation revealed the story to be untrue. Another false alarm. It is surprising with somebody of that stature that we've not had more concrete leads to pursue. After 12 months, and we have had a lot of publicity, but we haven't been able to take the inquiry further. I have to say that I am gravely concerned and I personally feel that Richie may no longer be with us. I glimpsed an old whale's gathering grass upon the unforgiving mountainside amongst the sea and gravestones and the silence, the strong silence... Richie wrote the Manic's lyrics with bassist Nick Wire. His brother Patrick has always been a source of inspiration for the pair. He still lives in the band's hometown of Blackwood, South Wales. I just think basically it's a sort of tragic event really that Richie had got to such a point where he decided to go missing, to disappear from public life. And you can't block out your mind, this sort of an uncertainty which never leaves you really as someone close to him and I, I suppose his, his family of course they're the ones who must feel it the most and the people who were touched by his music and, and his writing I think it's just something that um, you can't really explain Despite their recent absence from the charts, the Manic still have a large following across Britain. Gwent College of Higher Education is only a few miles from Rich's hometown, Blackwood. Fans here at the student refectory miss him, but feel sure he's still out there. We all know Richie's got problems, and I think he just needs his own space. And I mean, probably every Manic fan in the country is just so angry at him. You just hope he comes home. He obviously needed to do it, you know, to get away. But you just hope he's safe. It's a great loss, but I don't think it should affect the Manic Street preachers. It was more than six months before the rest of the band got back into the studio and recorded Raindrops for the Help album. Since then, they've been working on a new record using some of Rich's lyrics. But while they've been looking forward, others have been keen to look back. There are plenty of amateur psychological theories about his state of mind when he disappeared. He'd suffered a breakdown. He was an alcoholic. He mutilated himself and suffered from severe depression. But perhaps better than most, Steve Lamack knew the real Richie James. I would like to hope that Richie Manick is uh, still alive and out there because I think his contributions to rock music shouldn't be finished yet I think there's a lot more that he could obviously bring to the band but at the same time the band are carrying on in the same spirit of um, what they started out as but uh, I do generally hope that uh, Richie someday will join us again you know when he's feeling up to it it remains an open investigation a missing person file will not be closed until we have concrete evidence as to the whereabouts of the person so it will remain open until one day we do find out for sure exactly what's happened to Richie Edwards they actually really believed what, what Richie and Nick wrote and the band said was very um, important to their lives and I think that they, they probably equate Richie's disappearance with actually losing a friend a lot of people have been touched by the music and obviously when a part of their music has been wiped out or sort of thing or that no one knows um, saddened by it personally I think he's gone abroad somewhere I don't think he's committed suicide he had too much intelligence to do that he's away somewhere I don't think he's dead I don't think he's committed suicide because Ian just enjoys writing the lyrics too much and living I'd say I'm sure he enjoys living deep down Richie disappeared from a London hotel one year to the day. He left behind a packed suitcase, Prozac, some books, and a note saying, I love you. His car was found here at Off Service Station, which overlooks the River Severn. No one knows what happened, all this speculation. In his last interview, he told a reporter from a Japanese music magazine, I have no regrets. Regrets are meaningless. You can't change yesterday or tomorrow. You can change only this present moment.